In this video, we'll see a few ways on how to embed a video within your PowerPoint presentation. So we'll go to a slide where we want to embed the video. From the Insert menu, choose Video. And if Microsoft Internet Explorer is your default browser, when you click on Online Video, you'll have two options to either search YouTube directly or to paste an embed code. So here, if I search uh, YouTube for Hans Rosling, so I'm going to search for videos mentioning him, and I'm just going to simply check the, the first one here. Click on Insert, and it inserts the video. You can move it around. You can resize it. If you press the Shift key, you can keep the proportions correct. And also, from the Format menu, you can do things. I like softening the edges if I'm using this display. Uh, but obviously, one thing you might want to do is just makes it maximize it within the screen size, so when you're showing it in class. And if we look and go to the slideshow, you'll see the video is embedded here. And if we press play, the video simply plays. So that's the first way in which you can embed a video within a PowerPoint slide. If we go to another video or another slide here, the alternative would be to go to insert, again choosing video, online video, and we can paste embed code from YouTube or elsewhere here. So if I go to a browser window and you can see here I've gone to YouTube and I have a video uh, here I can click on the share code and I can choose the embed code and simply copy and paste the embed code from here going back to PowerPoint we can paste in the embed code here and when you hit to insert it gives you the exact same insertion as it would do if you had gone through the other process again we can resize we can soften the edges if we wish and we can click here to, you can see now, we can play the video from within PowerPoint. One thing that's useful is that as a backup, if this doesn't work when you're live in class, is to have a hyperlink directly to the YouTube video. So you could do this by uh, having a picture in the corner and having a hyperlink that's hidden there, not necessary to click on unless there's a problem with the video being displayed. So to do that, if we go back to the slide and again, we go back to our web browser, um, here and instead of picking the share code we'll just pick at uh, share and we'll take the embed code or, or this the URL here copy that and going back to PowerPoint we can add a hyperlink to this image or we could just have text add hyperlink and paste in the hyperlink here so this gives us a backup that if the video doesn't show we can click on this go straight to the browser to watch the video directly in YouTube the last thing I want to show you is if you're, instead of embedding a video, if you have a video file, you can very easily insert this within your presentation. So you go to video and instead of choosing online video, choose video on my PC. And here I have a video file, uh, say random birthday app, uh, applet. I'm going to insert that MP4 file in and it then inserts in the screen. And again, when we go to show it on a slide, we can press play and we can see the applet or the video playing here in the background. We can pause it and press escape and the video file is within your presentation. Once you save the presentation, this video file will be included within the PowerPoint file. So including videos within your presentation like this can result in quite large file sizes. Whereas if you embed them, uh, you run the danger that the linking won't work. So hence, I'd always recommend a backup of linking directly to the YouTube or video page, wherever it's where it is with a direct link. But the embedded uh, video won't obviously add much to your file size.